Beautiful day here in Juneau this afternoon. Bright and sunny, and the snow that's falling is falling uh, from the angle of repose up on the hillsides. Been a lot of avalanches in the last 24 hours. But so far, so good. And it's a beautiful day. Thank you for joining us and for joining your prayers to ours. Our bulletin is found at our site, trinityjuno.org, or you can use the Book of Common Prayer, and you know you'll find the reading for the psalm, Psalm 17 there, or just enjoy and join in where it's obvious to you. O oh God, make speed to save us, O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As he it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 17 today. Hear my plea of innocence, O Lord, give heed to my cry. Listen to my prayer, which does not come from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes be fixed on justice. Weigh my heart, summon me by night. Melt me down, you will find no impurity in me. I give no offense with my mouth as others do. 
I have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps hold fast to the ways of your love. In your paths my feet shall not stumble. I call upon you, O God, for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Show me your marvelous loving kindness. O Savior of those who take refuge at your right hand from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who assault me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed their heart to pity, and their mouth speaks proud things. They press me hard, now they surround me, watching how they may cast me to the ground. Like a lion greedy for its prey, and like a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, confront them and bring them down. Deliver me from the wicked by your sword. Deliver me, O Lord, by your hand from those whose portion in life is this world, whose bellies you fill with your treasure, who are well supplied with children and leave their wealth to their little ones. But at my vindication I shall see your face when I awake. I shall be satisfied beholding your likeness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Reading from the third chapter of the first letter of John. See what the love, what love the Father has given us that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. Everyone who commits sin is a child of the devil. For the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The Son of God was revealed for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. Those who have been born of God do not sin because God's seed abides in them. They cannot sin because they have been born of God. The children of God and the children of the devil are revealed in this way. All who do not do what is right are not from God, nor are those who do not love their brothers and sisters. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
Lord, we pray for you to build love for our sisters and brothers within us. Strengthen and nurture that love. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family and God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and the brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in a time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. Almighty God, who sits on the throne judging right, we humbly beseech you to bless the courts of justice and the magistrates in all this land and give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding that they may discern truth and impartially administer the law in the fear of you alone, through him who shall come to be our judge, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I invite you to bring your prayers forward and join them in the pause. I offer prayers for Diane and for Anne Cade, both of whom have been hospitalized. I ask you to comfort Lisa and all others who need to be consoled. Pray for the repose of the souls of all those who have passed, especially from the coronavirus. Pray for an end to the pandemic. And pray the healing for the divisions, the social strife, and the mental illness that have been spawned amongst us. And pray for recovery for all those who struggle. I ask healing for Brian and for Brian. 
other than a man. Your friend Jeffrey, who's in the hospital as well. Amen. O oh God of justice and mercy, we remember before you your servants, Peter Williams Cassie and Anna Besant Cassie, who in the face of slavery and discrimination gave the blessings of education and spiritual haven to the marginalized. Grant us to be fearless in the face of injustice and to work for blessings that will touch those whom the world does not count of value. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May God's love be the love that surrounds us today. May God's peace be the peace we share on our way. May God's grace be the grace that our actions display. May God's truth be the truth in the words that we say. Amen. The blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you this day and always. And now, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May Christ our Savior give us peace. Amen. Amen.